You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have with me Jeff Joseph from Massasoit Community College, and we are going to talk about, I hope I'm not going to get this wrong, the Ubuntu Beautiful. Yeah. Scholars Program. Yeah. Being at Massasoit, I don't know everything there is about Massasoit. I've taught there for 25 years, but there are newer programs and newer faces, and yeah. we're happy that you've been part of our mix. Well, thing, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Tell us about the Scholars Program. Sure. So Ubuntu Scholars is another one of Massasoit's many different student success programs. It's really an opportunity to focus primarily on our male students, I should say students that identify as male, mm -hmm. with an emphasis on our male students of color. The idea here is to support students both in the classroom as well as out of. So we've had the good fortune of being able to um, create sort of a center in an office where we have an academic coordinator. Um, his name is Michael Ortiz. He is almost a one-stop shop for our students where supporting students with everything from academic um, advising, so that's just you know picking the courses, to financial aid. And we operate on, for lack of a better phrase, an intrusive advising model. Mm -hmm. So the students that get to be a part of this program actually get a little more than just picking courses. We want to make sure they're doing well in class as well as out of, so we get very familiar with um, their personal lives and mm -hmm. want to make sure we're very clear as to what their needs are so we can continue to meet students where they are. Um, I think that's good because you've got to get the right advice. I tell my students, I don't advise, I just teach. Yeah. However, you've got to get the right advice. When I went to school, yeah. I didn't really necessarily get the right advice. I was at three different yeah. schools. I transferred around a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And when I went for my master's, mm. nobody told me a real major thing. If I go for a master of fine arts, it's a terminal degree versus my Master of Science in Media That's Management, yeah. which is not. My Master of Science in Media Management allowed me to teach. But mm. if I want to be a full professor, it's an MFA or a PhD. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, look at, listen to your advisors. If you don't feel like you're getting what you need for an advisor, yeah. try to get someone else exactly. or ask someone else. Don't take no for an answer necessarily because mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. My son didn't do well when he went to the 8 o'clock classes and 9 o'clock classes, three days a week, the 50-minute classes. Yeah. Peter Johnston was there at the time. Peter Johnston. And yeah. he was my dean, one, one of my deans that yeah. I worked under. And Peter picked his classes between 10 and 2 on Tuesday and Thursday. Well, guess what happened that semester? He was dean's list. Mm. So if you get the right advisor and you get yeah, the right advice and you have the intrusion, so to speak, yeah. and you have people, adults that care about you and want to help you and want to make you succeed, because I swear to God, we have at Massasoit, we have the best support for students. I, I mean, I'm I biased, full disclosure. I work there, I teach yeah. there, I get paid, but I'm not saying that because of that. I think if you go to community college, and now that we have the seamless program, MCC to BSU, yes, can yeah. go right over there. If I had it to do all over again, I did private, private, and then I did public. I think I would have done yeah. public, public. And then maybe and then private, maybe. although the master's and doctorate program, doctoral programs yeah, at the UMass is in yeah. and the Commonwealth, um, I, we're, the, we're still the education state. Right. Even if we have issues with funding and things like that, mm -hmm. the, 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 I mean, there's more people at UMass Boston that are professors from, that went to Harvard than Harvard professors mm -hmm. that are at Harvard. Think about that. And in Massasoit, yeah. we also have real world folks that have been out in business and industry yes. and they also teach. Yes. Okay. And the thing I like, I'm the old kid on the block. I've been there for yeah. 25 years. There are newer teachers. Like we, we talked in another segment about uh, Professor Daniel. Yes. Okay. Old dogs need new tricks. And when I teach yeah, my yeah, speech yeah. classes, when I first started teaching, I went and got my advice from two of the, the, the veterans. Mm -hmm. And then I went to two of the newest teachers, and I was kind of like right there with the new ones. And I got ideas from both, and that's how it helped me build a better class. Yeah. So I, how long has this program been in so effect? So this program's been in effect now for about, I want to say about three and a half, so maybe almost four years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, believe it or not. Um, how many students serve? So we serve to 75 students. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just about at, yeah, about full capacity. Um, the benefit of the program that I think makes it a little unique, uh, I would say our secret sauce um, essentially is the students. 
we operate on a peer leadership model. So the way it'll work is by empowering students, which is one of our pillars, we always mention engage, equip, empower. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's like our vetting process for everything. So the idea here is connect with students so, and build the capacity within the students so they can connect with other students and really drive the culture we really aim. You know, this culture of excellence we really aim to have present um, amongst the students. So we talk about the term of endearment we use is brother. Yeah. Um, so within this brotherhood of sorts, the idea here is we get to the finish line together. That's actually what Ubuntu um, represents. It's a Southern African proverb. Okay. That really means community the way we think about it. So the idea here is I can't get to that finish line unless my brothers get there with me. Kind of like a different variation on It Takes a Village. Exactly. If you really think about it. Now, oh, yeah. talk about your background and yeah, what sure. you brought to Massasoit. Where did you come from? Yeah. And uh, how did this whole concept come to be at the college? Oh, yeah, sure. So um, my background, I was at Wheelon College as my first job. That's when I was in college admissions. So I was charged mm -hmm. with recruiting students throughout the Northeast. What I learned through that experience, um, I guess one of the biggest lessons for me was the disparities in education. Um, and you could trace them by the zip codes. So that said, it really got me interested in getting on the other side of the desk as we term it. Mm -hmm. And that's when I joined the education nonprofit City Year. Mm -hmm. um, with City Year, I had the great opportunity to work through their headquarters and really try to design different efforts to tackle all things college and career readiness. Um, throughout the country. They're in about 27 different cities around the country. Mm -hmm. So that meant dealing with school districts, meets um, whatever is taking place locally and whatever politics may be involved in, you name it, but really looking for the best for our students so we can really tackle the dropout, um, the dropout crisis in the country. Mm -hmm. So all that said, one of the things I got to do a lot of is starting programs like mentoring programs in different cities and getting a good sense of what works and what doesn't work. Uh, a lot of crash courses, but I learned a ton. Um, I feel like that really equipped me to come into this position, which I was fortunate enough to receive. Um, I had to really design this Ubuntu Scholars program based off of the lessons I got to learn directly it meets a lot of the industry practices as it ties to the research. Um, so it's very data informed, um, and we really strive to be data driven in how we do this work. So it's more than just an idea, but it's really something that we believe works because we've seen it work in other institutions and in other capacities. Well, we're going to find out more. Sure. We're almost out of time. I don't know if we're, I have a, I have a minute. Anything I didn't cover that you want to get across um, or contact information so people can, you know, yeah, I, I, I don't sure. know how the, we, less than a minute, real quick. Uh, so Ubuntu Scholars, we're located in the Student Center. Um, easy way to find us is by simply coming down to the center, either going to academic advising or on the other wing, which is where my office is, uh, there's an online application, but we also have a multitude of programs like our Breakfast for Brothers and Sisters program that students can attend. And from there, you make a connection and you can easily sign up there. Perfect. Thanks for Thank being you. on Greater Brockton. Appreciate Community. it. Community. I love it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.